Hey Luke here with CaptainCarb.com and I'm going to show you how to cook a full meal using just this much fuel. And I'm going to do it using the Kelly Kettle. Now the Kelly Kettle is the ultimate in survival or camping cooking. It's an extremely versatile stove and kettle that runs off of wood and twigs and leaves and anything you can burn. So with very little you can cook a whole lot. I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so let me show you the Kelly Kettle. It's really simple. This design's been around since the 1900s. It's just a, a bit of steel. It's a, a giant steel thermos, essentially, with a little pot that goes underneath. Now, the thermos is hollow, okay? And so you can see right through it, and the water is stored in between the two walls the, the, in the lining of this hollow pipe. And then there's this little pot with a hole that goes on the base. It's a really simple design. Um, it's basically a jet stove. And that's, that's it's a portable jet stove that can be used as a, a thermos. These things have been around since the 1900s, and they've got lots of little great accessories they've invented. So this right here inserts onto the top of the Kelly Kettle. It allows you to cook off the top. You can, uh, comes with this pot. This is what's called the, the base camp kit. Um, and it comes with this little pot, comes with this little uh, pot gripper. Uh, works pretty slick. Allows you to grab the hot pot. You can also use just a pair of pliers, frankly. But And then there's the lid of the pot, which I can also oh, use as a, like a little frying pan type thing if you use lots of butter and grease it up pretty good. Uh, but kind of everything you need to, to boil water and heat things up and fry fry something and you can all do it with this one device so mine holds about 1.6 liters it's the largest Kelly uh, kettle model uh, you can get them a lot smaller than this if you want something a little bit more portable um, and you basically uh, you pour the water into the to the hole on the side and that fills up the the space in between the two walls and then you put a bunch of sticks down here in the base. And I always add way too much. I mean, you could probably get away with half of what I used. Um, but you just fill up this little pot full of sticks and then you build a fire in there. And it's great because literally you can do this just about anywhere. Because it's not an, uh, an open fire, because it's enclosed inside something, you can do this in parks and in locations where fire building a fire is not permitted. So uh, if I go out uh, fishing in you know one of my local parks or something, I can't just build a fire and start cooking food. But this is not an open fire because it's enclosed, and so I can do it. And just the only thing is, is you don't want to put it on top of anything that you don't want to get burned um, because it'll actually char the the top of the stump, and you'll see it. And so, you know, don't put it on top of like a, a picnic table or something because that'll damage damage the picnic table. Really easy to light these things. I got no newspaper, no grass. I just threw a bunch of dry sticks in there and lit it. Um, having it all self-contained makes it really efficient and it makes it uh, really easy to light. There's no, you know, no wind problems, plenty of air. And you can just drop extra bits in the top and feed the fire by either shoving stuff in the hole in the bottom or dropping it down in the hole in the top. But it gets roaring really fast. And this thing's so efficient because the heat of the fire isn't escaping out the sides. It's concentrating that, that heat. And it's got really excellent airflow too. So it's, you don't have to worry about you know, stoking it or blowing into it. It just works really well. It, it's... Um, and so just a little bit of sticks allows you to get a lot of heat out of it. And in a very short period of time, you start to get boiling water. And in this situation, I think uh, it took less than, uh, I think less than eight minutes, probably somewhere between six to seven minutes to go from lighting the match to having water boiled. So really quick to boil over one and a half liters of water. It takes very little fuel. And you can touch the sides and it's hot but not going to burn you crazy you know but the bottom part gets really hot so this kind of a safety thing you can you can touch most of the kettle but not the base but you'll start to hear it uh, boiling and and you'll see steam coming out and you know it's ready to go 
And so I'm doing the ultimate in simple cooking with my Kelly kettle today, just a classic cup of noodle or a pot of noodle if you're in the UK. And uh, you can see there it charred the bottom, uh, charred the stump. But this works great for any of the uh, mountain house, uh, dehydrated meals and that sort of thing. But you can also cook a lot of things off the top. And, uh, and so I've cooked, you know, beans and soups and stews and fried eggs and bacon off the top of the Kelly kettle. You, know, you roasted hot dogs off it. You, so it's pretty much, you can do whatever you want with this thing. Now, one thing that's really nice about the Kelly kettle is it heats up super fast and it cools down super fast. So I put the hot water in the cup of noodle. And by the time the thing's done soaking, I've got the whole thing cleaned out and cooled down enough where I can handle it and put it back in the, the bag. So uh, it, it's really quick. So from pulling it out of the bag, starting a fire, boiling stuff, and being done is under 10 minutes. Um, you know, probably less than the, the about this about the length of this video is all the time you need to cook a meal with a Kelly kettle using a handful of sticks you found on the ground. It's really slick. These things have been around forever, and you can buy them on Amazon.com. They're invented in Ireland in the 1900s. They're also called volcano uh, volcano kettles or gilly kettles, um, but they're absolutely fabulous. I use them for fishing to cook on the bank all the time costs about $90 for the kettle and then it's about another 20 bucks for all the accessories and you can get it on amazon.com and I'm going to put a link in the description and so if you'd like to uh, buy one you can just click on it but at any rate um, great great little survival and camping uh, bit of equipment but if you like this video check out some of our other videos including how to build your own keep alive uh, squirrel trap and uh, six of my best bank fishing tips Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe.